Okay, so first thing that I want to, while you guys are finishing up your question, I found these in uh, the scrap bin yesterday. Um, and I just want to make sure that you guys know that just because you, think you can't use them for your project doesn't mean that they're not still usable for something else. Okay, so if you have a piece like this, so you know someone may have had you know, a wire board here, and then they took off their long leg or their short leg or whatever it was, and then just threw this in the scrap. Okay, just set this back in that lumber rack. Okay, with those cubby shelves with there. Um, just throw it back in the pine. Someone could still use this. So, just so you guys know, I didn't really talk about that much, but I mean this stuff is still usable. Um, what we're going to do today is I got a short video. We're going to talk about uh, how you measure board feet and then take the chops off, please, and then we'll be out in the shop. So, um, this one, it kind of relates to you yeah, guys drawing the lines and everything on your board. Uh, when you guys grab the lights, please. So, remember that. Machines can't see lines, so they're just there to help you see. Oh, really? This is really true. This is really true. Here, you can see. Here, you can see. It's all the vegetables. I really opened up my pores, you know. Here's 
was kind of cool. They, they kind of served these food balls in there. It was like dinner on a show. Hey. As enjoyable as it was, I still don't have a vision of my quest. Thank you. Where is there? I don't know. Yeah. You know what I was doing? I was okay. I had to do it. It was fun. It was great. <laughs> what? No, it's going great. It's great. It didn't look a little rubbish. A little what? The board looked a little. It's a work in progress, bro. You think it's good enough for the big waves? I think it. I think it's good enough for anyway. Okay, let's say I'm a big way. Yeah. Hold on. No, 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 Boards are all inside the board already. You gotta find it with <laughs> the grid. Okay. So, yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah, you guys can draw out your uh, uh, boards to find you know the, your long legs, your short legs, where your handles are going to be placed. But remember that as you send them through the joiner and the planer, those pencil lines are going to be coming off. So as long as you know that this board is supposed to be your long leg or your short leg or your handles, you know, that's fine. You don't need to mark them out or draw them on the face of the board. If you want, you can label them on the ends because the end will, is the last thing that we'll view with. So again, it's thickness, width, and then length. So length is going to be the last thing. So if you want to label them on your boards to help you, so you're like, you know, it's supposed to be your long and your short leg or two long legs, things like that. All right, what we're going to do quick, just want to intro uh, measuring board feet. So here's where we go. Take one, pass it down. You guys can pass those and like that. Oh, what was the answer for today's, or what was today's question? It'll be due Tuesday, not homework. But we'll go over it today. So what was today's question? Okay, so what does the plus or minus sign mean? If you guys look at your grading, if you look at your grading rubrics at the top, it'll say, you know, for a five, it's uh, you'll get a five if it's you know said if it's you're supposed to be cut to four inches or ripped to four inches, whatever need be, um, and if it's that, then you get a five. If it's plus or minus a sixteenth of an inch. So basically this says your tolerance. So if it's supposed to be four inches and it's four and a sixteenth kit, then you have a four. You received a four in that column. Okay. So what that plus and minus shows you, it's your tolerances. So when you're dealing with your stuff, um, especially with machining, you have a lot smaller tolerances. With woodworking, you have greater tolerances, like a sixteenth of an inch. Um, when you're working with things okay so here's this this front side you don't necessarily have to do that because it's just review so if you have questions on how to you know convert it to decimal form okay that's what those are there for so all we're focused on is the back side so board feet again is the unit that solid lumber is sold in 
And the equation for figuring out how many board feet you have is length times width times height divided by 144. So you have, you guys want to make note, length times width times height all divided by 144. Okay, so it's divided by 144 because if you remember that one unit, one board foot unit is an inch thick by 12 inches wide by 12 inches long. Okay. So that's what one board foot equals. And this is only for solid lumber. Okay. Solid lumber. We don't use this for plywood or for trim at all. Okay. So solid lumber is length times width times height because we deal with length times width or length, width, and height. Right? So we deal with the thickness of a board, we deal with the width of a board, we deal with the length of a board. With plywood, once we start getting into that, we only deal with width and length. We don't deal with thickness at all. Okay? So really all that you are gonna need to do is take these equations, multiply them right across. So if we have our board that's one by five one inches thick by five inches wide by thirty-nine inches long, all we do is multiply those straight across, divide by one forty-four. Okay, so if it helps you guys, all you can do is oops, 144. Just go right down, divide by 144, everything like that. Okay? So it's not until you start getting to down number 20. Okay? So if you want to kind of circle number 20, so it's dealing with feet now. Okay? So that one tick mark indicates feet, you know, the kind of the quote mark indicates inches. So you have from here down, start paying close attention to what you're dealing with. Okay? Yeah, use it in decimal form. So here, if we have, if we go back to number one, we have one times five times 39, right? So it's 195, you guys can see that, divided by 144. So we're always we'll go to nearest nearest hundredth, okay? So this one would be one point three five four feet, okay? Next one is just six times forty eight. You want to do it times one, you can, but one times whatever is whatever that number is. Divide by one forty four equals two. So you're just gonna have 2.004 feet. Okay. So this is going to come into play for our bill of materials, figuring out how much uh, material we need and how much to charge the customer, right? So basically, you want if you're doing this for a living, you want to be able to charge at least enough to cover your materials. Because every time you make a product, you should be making money or at least breaking even. Okay. Any questions on board feet? So it's just length times width times thickness divided by 144. Okay, so don't worry about this isn't homework. We'll have it due Tuesday. Okay, so if there's downtime, if you're waiting for a machine, you can work on that. Um,